Okay, guys, so before the video starts, I want you to do me a quick favor. So that favor is go down and find the subscribe button. Then once you find it, click it because, yeah, it, it helps. Um, and then after you click it, I want you to click the bell next to it check on notifications and save now you're done so enjoy the video hey this is r2g2 gaming and i'm back with another video and today i'm playing some more scrap mechanic and I have just started a town world. So as you can see here, I have built a Walmart as my first building in this town. So if I just enter, you can uh, just press one of these and it'll open the sliding doors. And I made those sliding doors by just having some modded suspension and thrusters. And the, the switches activate some logic gates in there, which in turn powers the thrusters and makes the sliding door. So that's how... I was able to achieve those awesome looking sliding doors but now we walk into the main part of the store so in here I have um, I have the registers like the checkout area and I have three of those set up so, if you want to do like some role play, these are pretty good. The little conveyor belt thingy uh, doesn't actually work. It's just there to look cool. Same with the, like, everything that's right over here. Or in all of these three things. So... Then, from that, we have, um, we have a little, uh, I don't know what you would call this, but a thing with ducks in it. So if you want to buy your own duck, this is the place to buy them. So then we move on to the little TV area um i set up these or this little shelf and put some controllers on it to look like tvs some of the modded controllers so then let's go all the way across to this which is the small plant section so you can just come over here and like pick up one of these plants. These are the only ones they have in stock right now, I guess. I don't know. But then, this is a little bit of a weird section right here. We have some some hands in this thing. Um, I don't know why you would ever uh, come to Walmart to buy a hand, but they're here and you can get them <laughs> for only $29.99 so now we move on to the freezer section we only have one freezer unit um so it's I don't know it's not really the biggest Walmart so it's fine so in this side we have bananas and then in the other side we have cucumbers and yeah that's the 
the doors don't actually open. They just, like, they're just there to look cool. I didn't want to put too many bearings. In fact, I don't think I put any bearings in this. Let me see. Oh no, I put one bearing. So, then we move on to the shelves. So, the first shelf, there are some cones. And, yeah, um, apparently, uh, Walmart has, like, a whole shelf for just cones, but whatever, I don't know. And then we move on to the next shelf, which is the mattress shelf. I don't know if many Walmarts have these or not, but I just figured I'd throw it in here. So now we go on to a shelf full of tires. The tires are kind of like, I don't know. The stacks used to be nice, but now they're all tipped over. And there are some boxes on top storing the extra tires that they didn't uh, take out of the boxes, I guess. I don't know. And then we move over to a whole shelf full of mugs. So this bottom shelf has like all the colored ones all stacked up on a uh, stand that looks really cool and then the second um, the second layer has just the default mugs uh, nothing special but then the third layer has all the boxes with the mugs in it now before I move on to the toilet paper um, section I'm gonna do, or I'm gonna show you one last thing. We have, well, I forgot to show this before, but we have shopping carts over here. And yeah, you can just pick up a sh shopping cart, hit it around, I don't know. Just do whatever. But yeah, so we have those. So now, leave, before you see this, leave in the comments below what you think is going to be in the toilet paper section. I, I know all of you will probably get this, but I don't know. Just thought I'd do that. So, as you can see, it looks... From the outside, it looks like a pretty normal toilet paper shelf. So then we come to this little area and you can see there's a gap in the toilet paper. So you have to reach through the gap and hit that lever and then it opens it opens up a little door and then you can close it back up and it, it'll be like nothing ever happened so then we have a little TV in here some toilet paper scattered and then you look up and there's a, there's a block that's colored a little bit differently so you you go on that block and then you can um that's a seat block so you can go up to the next level so in this one we have a plant in a pot and yeah just for decoration right there and then it looks like somebody was sleeping right here they have a mug probably from the mug section and then a blanket and a pillow but yeah I don't know who that could have been but then um, if you look up there's another block that's 
the same as this one, another seat block. So you can get into there and pop up to the top. You have to be really sneaky to be able to be up here without being seen because, you know, there's barely any walls. So, um, I don't know if the person that slept here was up here and got caught and now they're not here, but who knows? Oh yeah, and then there's a there's a duck right there. I, I don't know why the why the duck's here, but you know, whatever. So then from here you can if you're really sneaky, do some parkour over to like all the other shelves and the freezer so that's pretty cool and then you can just jump down but yeah that's the toilet paper section oh and I almost forgot underneath um, only this uh, register there is a little switch and you can hit the switch and it'll turn on all the lights I forgot to do that before so yeah that's that the roof looks pretty cool from the inside it's got some support columns and stuff and all the lights but I'll turn those off and go right outside because there's one more thing I need to show you. So the last thing I'm going to show you is this car that I built to kind of go along with the build. So I have it parked in the parking lot. Um, it uses a lot of modded pieces. Like, the Walmart used some, but not too much. But this is, I think it might be all modded pieces. No, it's mostly modded pieces. Only the pipes for the, for the, um, wheels and stuff are vanilla. So, um, this thing is... It's pretty fun to drive. I don't know. It's it's just fun to like try and park it in the parking lot. I made it with the street tires that are 4x2 so that um, they have... I think they have more grip on, like, on blocks than other tires. But yeah, they, they don't really slide around and then they fit really nice they have a lot of room to turn and stuff without like being big and bulky and I just went out the wrong way but yeah um so I have this road and yeah I just connected everything to the road so well I actually have uh, I have this whole thing is three different parts um, the road is one separate part and then as you can see right here it splits I used the the wedge pieces I had to use the vanilla ones otherwise it would have um, connected so I have those making it like a smooth transition and then um, the Walmart is actually separate it's like well this what I'm standing on right here is part of the Walmart but once I drop down a block everything in this parking lot is completely separate and I did that by kind of like getting the corner so um, it looks pretty uh, pretty cool 
um, how I got it to all line up perfectly. Oh, and then I have, I forgot to mention, the Walmart sign is made out of glowing blocks, so it lights up if I get the night mod. Uh, well, if, if you guys suggest, um, if I should get the night mod and look at this again, uh, I will do that. So, um, yeah, that's, uh, that's my Walmart, and I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure to leave a like, and if you really enjoyed it, subscribe, because I'll be doing a ton more of this in the future. So, um, actually, one more thing. For the next episode of this, um, I want you to comment down below what I should build. And I'll look at the comments, and the top comment I'll pick, and I'll build it. But it has to be reasonable, so I won't pick, like, a big chicken. Because, well, it has to be a building just like anything um, and if I don't get any comments I guess I'll just figure out what to build on my own but I hope you enjoyed and I'll see you in the next video bye